You have said in the past that beneath men's shells, they're all little boys who think they're worthless. Mm. Where did that come from? Well, I think it's the truth. I think... Did you feel that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, you see, I think the one great disadvantage we have over your sex is we don't have a womb. So we don't really have a purpose. You can breed, you can create children. Men can't, and they're always trying to fill that void. And they do it by chasing money, by chasing status, by chasing power, by chasing warfare or whatever, uh, or fame. Uh, but it's very rare to find a man who is completely comfortable in himself, who is aware of his feminine side, aware of where he sits in life, and who doesn't have that urge to go out and... Pillage and plunder. Pillage and plunder. Well, which obviously leads me to the Me Too movement, because we've seen so many women who've come out and told their historic stories of abuse and harassment. Where does... Where do men fit into this? I mean, obviously, the abusers, but can men like yourself and others who clearly feel for them be part of the solution? Well, I think it's very important for people like me, white, male, successful, to listen, to listen to what uh, people who've been abused, women, have to say, and to learn. But at base, I think we have to love each other, respect each other, tolerate each other, and wonder in the difference in each other. Whatever our sex, whatever our age, whatever uh, our, our sexual proclivities. Um, so that's sort of where I stand. You've played a lot of heroic roles and a lot of baddies as well. Mm. I mean, you were the baddie in Lion King. You were Scar. Mm. And you were the baddie in Klaus von Bülow film, mm. Reversal of Fortune. Mm. And you played quite a lot of baddies. Die you Hard. Die Hard. Mm. And you're about to come out with a new film with Jennifer Lawrence, right? Mm. Red Sparrow. Wonderful film. What's the attraction of the baddies? Well, you see, I don't see good as baddies. I think we all have grey in us, and uh, we all make choices in life, and those choices are judged uh, and by other people who say, well, that is good or that is bad. I mean, there is evil, but that's not really what I play. Uh, I play people who have been judged as bad. Well, you were the goody hero in The French Lieutenant's Woman, mm. And then, as I said, Reversal of Fortune won you an Oscar. Mm. You're now playing in Long Day's Journey with, as you said, Leslie Manville, mm. who is also up for an Oscar mm. for Phantom Thread. Quite rightly, too. Do you have any advice, anything to tell her about this, you know, awards season, the highs, the lows, how to keep a well, straight she's poker very face? Lucky. She's very lucky because now, you know, they, the poor guys who are nominated, they have to go around on these great publicity trails and sort of drum up support and all of this and get people voting for them. And Leslie is playing with me every night, so she can't. She's going to jump on a plane after our Saturday night show and fly over for the Oscars and then come back and be back for the Tuesday night show. Um... So she won't have to go through that whole farrago. Uh, I hope she'll enjoy it. I did. It's like having a birthday, you know. I mean, I went mad. I remember I kissed everybody in sight. I kissed Madonna, who was sitting in front of me. I don't know. And sitting next to Madonna was Michael Jackson. I very nearly kissed Michael, but I pulled back at the last minute. I don't know why, just because he was one seat too far. Um, you don't remember anything, really. Jeremy Irons, thank you very much indeed. It's a pleasure.